Our world, our history, has been influenced by extraterrestrial threats. This all too well. No. <laughs> My purpose has always been clear defend against the threat. Rebuild humanity to resist invasion. It hasn't always been easy. There are tough choices that need to be made. Someone has to stop this alien plague. It was a vow I made long ago. For more years than I can remember, I have stood watch. Preparing for a day I've long known was inevitable. The alien threat is real, and the world has suffered at the hands of these invaders. The world must be prepared. It must always be vigilant. And I will make sure it is. No matter what the cost. This is Bishop. We've lost the turtles. No, no, I disagree. We have to raise the stakes. Attention, people of Earth! Since you persist in your defiance by not giving up the Fugitoid, we will continue to remove your cities from the planet and take them apart bit by bit until we find him. Something tells me it's gonna take a while to get back to the lair. Still no sign of the Turtles, but we've ID'd two of their associates. Shadow them. We need to follow every possible lead to the Fugitoid. Look, my agents are closing in, but you need to handle the Triceratons. We had a deal, remember? Well, it's a little hard to hold up my end of the bargain when they're slicing New York off the face of the planet. Pawn to Bishop One. Target in sight. Requesting permission to fire, sir. Permission granted. Upon, I repeat, take the shot. Yes, sir. What the? Pawn to Bishop One. Intervention successful. Mutant has robot on board. Sighting confirmed. 12th Quadrant. Message received, Sergeant. Continue observation. We have confirmation. The turtle creatures are in possession of the Fugitoid, and the Triceratons are closing in. But countermeasures are in place. Rest assured, my friend. Both of us will get what we're after. You have my personal guarantee. government relies upon for certain projects. The kind of projects they'd rather not dirty their own hands with. Hey, how do you know Donnie's name? And the professor? I know all your names, Raphael, and much, much more. And yet we know nothing about you, not even your name. How rude is that? Very well, Michelangelo. When you scream my name, pleading to make the pain stop, 
begging for mercy. You may call me Bishop. I don't understand it. Everybody has always been after me in the past. Actually, Professor Honeycutt, you're a valuable commodity to a certain interested party. Hello, Professor. General Blank! Great! That's the guy that was chasing down the Fugitoid back on the Hoonip! What's he want? Oh, right. Escort the Professor to the lab Agent Bishop has so graciously provided us with. Yes, sir. All right, General. You have your robot. Our deal is concluded. Yes. The Federation thanks you and your government for the assistance. The Professor's teleportal device will finally be ours. And with it, the Federation will once and for all annihilate the accursed Triceratons. Our ultimate victory is at hand! Do as you will with the Terrapins. <laughs> no! making a big mistake, Bishop. You can't trust that blank guy. He's no better than the Triceratons. Federation, Triceratons, it makes little difference to me. I help one destroy the other, and they promise to give me what I need and leave the Earth alone. But enough talk. Time for your dissection. Uh, guys, you know how I always like to take apart the toaster to see how it works? Well, I suddenly know how the toaster feels. Fascinating. Your genetic mutation is virtually identical to that of the only other specimen I've been able to find. Other specimen? What you talking about, Willis? Weatherhead? of research, and I've never seen a mutation like yours, or that of your crocodilian friend over there. Finding the exact source of your mutation is going to accelerate my ability to create an army of super soldiers by at least two decades. <laughs> Pity you won't survive the next two minutes. <laughs> Sorry I can't administer a sedative, but it might corrupt my findings. I can't look! For the sacrifice you're about to make, your country thanks you, Michelangelo. No! What? Another mutation? Stop them! <laughs> Keep away from my son! <laughs> This will be the end of Michelangelo. Your brother's life is in grave danger, and you should have learned by now that I mean what I say. Yo, Mommy! <sighs> and you should have learned by now to never take your eyes off me! Get him! Oh, no. Uh... 
specifications of the teleportal device from my memory circuits. Sir, it's jamming all our lives, interfering with all phases of research. It's that tin toy the Federation was after. Reboot the system and clear it. I need these cell samples analyzed immediately. The turtles are gonna help me with my work, whether they like it or not. Security breach detected. Commencing lockdown procedure immediately. Interesting trap. Actually, this is the trap. Yet another piece of advanced technology salvaged from our alien visitors. Cuts through anything. Makes your katana look like a butter knife. What is this? Whoever you are, this is a secure channel. Mr. Oroku Saki, my name is Bishop. And I believe you know my guest, Karai. In exchange for the life of your operative here, I want all the alien technology you've been collecting. I have no idea what you're... Please. Knowledge is my business, Mr. Saki. And I know all about you. Believe me, Mr. Bishop. You know nothing about me. I know that you are a crime lord of some ancient Japanese tradition. I know that you've been using your vast, ill-gained fortune to finance restoration operations in New York City as a cover to obtain dangerous alien technology. I know that you have sent this lovely warrior princess, your adopted daughter, correct? To steal an alien microchip from the United States government. And I know that if you do not turn over your entire stockpile of alien hardware to me within the next 45 minutes, your feisty family member here is going to be neatly sliced into a supersized pile of julienne fries. 44 minutes and counting. I didn't expect an answer so soon. Gentlemen, we have a train to catch. Move it out. Yes, sir. Captain, we have an incursion at base Gamma. I want full security coverage. Get the bird in the air. Sir, yes, sir. I'll hand it to you. You're persistent. But not exactly bright. Say goodbye. Didn't I 
tell you to get lost. Let me make my point a little clearer. <laughs> the only guy I hate more than Hun. And that's saying a lot. And you owe me a new bite, fatso. This train car is amazing. Let's stay focused, Donnie. Fascinating. I've never seen anything so... Time is of the essence, Donatello. Uh, right. Sorry. Leo! I can use a hand! Your turn! I need you to slice the upper ring. Now! I see you've decided to stretch your legs, my dear. Perhaps I will too. DNA samples from the last time we met have put my research ahead 50 years overnight. Ciao. Ground Force to Night Sky, the packages have been delivered. Roger, Ground Force. Stand by. Proceed. Beginning sweep for mobile mutated genetic signatures. 
Right there, sir. Looks like our target. Intercept them. Target acquired, sir. What about the turtles? Neutralized, sir. Your orders? No survivors. has been very useful to me indeed. In fact, the mutated DNA I'm extracting from you even as we speak will help save all humanity. But you look confused. Allow me to explain. I work for the Earth Protection Force, a secret government organization assembled to face a mounting crisis. A crisis dating back to 1870, when President Grant created the EPF after the first extraterrestrials crashed here on Earth. Extraterrestrials. A crisis that continues to this day, as we've seen with the recent invasion of the savage Triceratons. I guarantee you, similar invasions will follow, and someone has to be there to stop them. That is the purpose of the EPF. My purpose. To create a new humanity, a new superior race born of enhanced DNA. DNA acquired from genetic manipulation, alien autopsies, and even stolen from your sons. But it was your mutated rat DNA, being so nearly human, that has allowed me to finally complete the process. And for that, I thank you. Yes. Yes! It lives! The new evolution of humankind! The Slayer! Not only are these future members of the Earth Protection Force, but they are the new humanity. These clones are awaiting final DNA sequencing. By cellular acceleration, I can give birth to an army within six hours, fully trained, thanks to my advances in biodata transference and your DNA. I've uploaded complex survival tactics into this prototype. What will you do with them? Mainstream them into the population, of course. We have aliens out there right now, living amongst us. My slayers will ferret them all out. What if innocent people get ferreted out instead? What if errors are made? Not my concern. I'm a bigger picture kind of guy. Besides, my calculations suggest that it would be beneficial if 57% of the Earth's population simply disappeared. Just think, my little lab rat. Your DNA will make it all possible. You're lucky you're such a unique organic specimen. You shall be preserved. Sir, the recall signal for car A13 has been activated. It's on its way in. Hmm. That train should have been destroyed. Prepare a suitable reception, just in case it's occupied. Master Splinter, no! Master Splinter! I must say, I'm impressed that you found me, but you won't be staying. freaked out oh believe me you ain't seen nothing yet from those controls, cyborg. No! Bishop, you will not succeed. 
seed. Wrong! Neither you nor your little green brats can stop me. You don't understand. I've created life! Bishop, no one has the right to play God! I am taking the necessary steps to defend the world. It is my duty! The world has enough monsters. It does not need yours. Professor Honeycutt, the tank, seal it! This is over, Bishop! My plans are far from over, Rodent. You have no idea, no idea! I get the distinct feeling there's something he's not telling us. Yes, sir. This is completely unacceptable. Why didn't you tell us Oroku Saki has a starship? You didn't ask. Sarcasm is no way to build a working relationship with me, Stockman. Relax, Agent Bishop. We have a deal. I'll keep my end of the bargain as long as you keep yours. Huh? <laughs> Must go. Bye now. I don't know what Saki's up to, and I don't care. Rig this tunnel for demolition. I don't want to allow Saki any chance to move his ship. This starship, it's... it's unbelievable. How could Saki have... Sir! Tunnel wired for demolition, sir! Then blow it. I'm not letting this ship slip through my fingers. It looks like Saki's trying an emergency launch. What? How could I? Uh, huh? Bring in Strike Force Bravo. Shut this whole place down. <laughs> well, well, well. Isn't this cozy? On my mark. Destroy them all! Open fire! No! Saki's not getting away! I want that starship! Bravo team, disable the ship! Don't let it take off! This is Bishop to all tracking outposts. Begin tracking! If I can't have that ship, neither can Saki. Agent Bishop, the Atlantic EPF system has locked onto Saki's starship. Fire at will. 
Their defenses are down. Thank you, Dr. Stockman. Oh, believe me, Agent Bishop. It was my pleasure. Launch all remaining missiles. Blow that ship out of the sky. Agent Bishop, sir. Target Starship has moved out of range of terrestrial launch sites, but we now have satellite control, bringing weapon online. Fire at will. Target destroyed, sir. Scanning the wreckage? No survivors, sir. The Shredder? Destroyed? It's too good to be true. For once in my life, I'm... I'm speechless. Stockman, you've been very useful. This could be the start of a mutually beneficial partnership. As you know, Agent Bishop, I have never been a big fan of your operation. Yes, Mr. President, and I must say that- Don't interrupt me! Do you know how many times I fought to get you more funding? And you and your agency were just about useless in the recent Triceraton invasion? What good are you? And now, you and your forces go and attack Oroku Saki's mansion? Right in the middle of New York City? It's an outrage! The city's mayor, two members of Congress, and a senator were there. Do you know how many political favors I called in to put a lid on it? Bishop, you had better toe the line. One more fiasco and I will personally pull the plug on your entire operation. I've already got budget cuts to make, and believe you me, I've got my eye on your chunk of the pie. Sir, you're absolutely right, sir. No mistakes. You have my word. I don't want your word, Bishop. I want your sorry carcass out of my office now! Agent Bishop, sir. We have a problem. What now? Tonight's shipment was... hijacked. What? No! That's the last thing I need. We have to find it. Now! We're already on it, sir. The tracking devices are still functioning. We're homing in on its location as we speak. Report! If you haven't located the exact position of T9581 in 30 seconds, you're going to be volunteering for genetic research. Um, that won't be necessary, sir. We... we're closing in on the homing beacon now. Bishop, I've been reviewing your work in genetic manipulations. It's almost as brilliant as something I might have done. But I've noticed a certain anomaly I think I can fix. Especially if you're going to keep your end of our bargain. I'm really- Silence, Stockman. I haven't got time for your servile chatter. Agent Bishop, sir. T9581 is moving out onto the salt marshes. Stay on his trail. I have an idea where he's going. That thing is headed towards those houses. Those people won't stand a chance. Come on! Sir, T9581 is headed towards a housing complex near the Brooklyn Naval Yard. He still remembers. Fascinating. There, sir! What's this? It's one of the turtles. I thought the turtles were destroyed. Your orders, sir? We have to get T9581 under control at all costs. Prepare for containment. Then we'll worry about the turtle. Now what? Rest of the cables on it now! More power to the rotors! There's 
No sign of T-9581, sir. He must have been destroyed. Let's get clear before the authorities arrive. I don't want anyone knowing we're involved. Agent Bishop, how was Washington? I hear it's lovely this time of year. It was... disappointing. Status report. We're on schedule. Normally playing Dr. Frankenstein would be beneath me. But I must admit, you have me intrigued. These organic manipulations you've requested are mostly cosmetic. Nothing that would further your super soldier program. Why? Your project here has a much different goal, Doctor. After the fiasco with the Roku Saki ship and the escape of T-9581, the bureaucrats in D.C. intend to cut our funding. Your work will make sure that doesn't happen. Trust me, Doctor. Soon we'll have unlimited funding right from the President himself. The President? How are you going to manage that? In three weeks, the President will be in New York to address the U.N. While he's there, we'll demonstrate the necessity of my work. The job of the Earth Protection Force is to defend this planet from invasion. But in the absence of a current alien threat, we're going to create one. What's the status of the President? We stopped his limo, sir. Should we collect? <sighs> Let him squirm a bit. Continue the show. Then we'll reel him in. You wear it well, you think? I do! Interfering freaks! Get me, Stockman! How goes your production, Agent Bishop? Are you the next Orson Welles yet? Your aliens are decomposing ahead of schedule, Doctor. Explain! Decomposing ahead of schedule? But that shouldn't be. Doctor, time is of the essence. Your parameters were to make them able to follow basic orders and fire weapons. The hand-to-hand -hand fighting wasn't on the list. The physical battering must be accelerating the breakdown. <sighs> Looks like they're not the only ones whose bodies are breaking down. Another time. Doctor. Ready the saucer. We're cutting the invasion short. Take the eagle now. If the turtles get in the way, eliminate them. Hollow imaging systems at 100%. Saucer control is tracking perfectly. The president is on board, and I've changed course to the rendezvous coordinates. Excellent. <laughs> Driver, report! You! No! Don't shoot! You'll hurt the equipment! What is this? Attention, people of the planet Earth! The alien menace has ended! We took out the satellite and... Poof! No more alien ships! You did what? No. No! The saucer was remote controlled via satellite, you fool! Nice one, Einstein. When the satellite dish went down, they just didn't have any instructions. Kind of like robots. Very astute, Donatello. Why, Bishop? All these games! 
For what? For the good of all mankind. Haven't you heard? I'm making the world a safer place. And on that note, I have to save the president. Are you that whacked in the head? The only place you're going is Painville. I don't think so. My sleeping pets are all rested and in need of a few playmates. <laughs> Nice boys. I've got a job to do. Dish up to Omega Squadron. Rendezvous in 10 in the probe room for extraction. Confirm Omega. <laughs> 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 Fascinating specimen, but nothing can be allowed to threaten my work. Come on, we have to find the president. Wait, I want to hear him hit bottom. No, no, stay away. Agent Bishop, help me! Those... those... aliens! Uh, I sure hope he isn't talking about us! We're here to save you, sir. Open fire! I owe you my life, Agent Bishop. Whatever your project needs, money, men, whatever it is, say the word. Come along, sir. You can count on me. More details are coming in from the alien invasion. The president is safely back in Washington. He spoke to the country from the White House this morning, pledging to renew funding for the Earth Defense Force. Money. This was all about money. I would like to thank the Earth Defense Force for rescuing me from the invaders. You're a work of art, Agent Bishop. A work of unrivaled scientific genius. My genius. Well done, Dr. Stockman. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> And none too soon, by the look of it. <laughs> You're nearing the end stage. Your current body's breakdown rate is increasing exponentially. A flaw I've eliminated in your new body, of course. Not only that, but I've increased your strength, speed, and longevity as well. <laughs> this may not be your first clone body, but it will certainly be your best. Let's hope so, Dr. Stockman. If this transfer is successful, then we'll be one step closer to creating a race of super soldiers impervious to alien attack. And you're one step closer to a new body of your own. Sounds good to me. Now here we go. And by the way, this will hurt. Simply amazing, Doctor. I feel like a new man. You should, because you quite literally are. Your unique genetic structure made it stunningly easy to transfer your consciousness. There are no signs of rejection. Now, as we've agreed, I can finally begin construction on my own body. Dr. Stockman, there's been another report from New York. Uh... Um, uh... Maybe now isn't the best time. Tell me, Doctor, what does he mean by another report? Yes, well, 
While you were, how shall we say, under the weather, minor reports started coming in from New York. I didn't want to bother you with minor reports. Show me. This was caught near a sewer runoff drain near the Lower East Side. A photo was sent in to the media. They're currently investigating possible toxic waste disposal in the area. Chinatown. An insurance investigator took the picture and posted it on a website. Look at the eyes. Doctor, do you have a theory on this? There could be any number of explanations, really. Give me your favorite. Well, when you staged your alien invasion of New York, brilliantly done, might I add, the genetically modified alien clones encountered more vigorous resistance than planned. The genetic accelerant I used to stabilize and increase the speed of mutation on the clones was more potent than I thought. After the cleanup, remnant genetic material made its way into the sewers, and based on the evidence, it came into contact with animal life. The alien DNA, combined with the accelerants and modifications I made, that you asked me to make, is interacting with whatever host creature it encounters, mutating it, spreading like a virus. It, it was impossible to anticipate. Doctor? My life's work is to defend humanity from extraterrestrial threat. And now you're telling me that I've unleashed this... this plague? This is unacceptable, Doctor. This cannot happen. This outbreak must be neutralized before it spreads, before anyone realizes its true nature and tracks it back to my work. Let me know how that goes. I'll be working on my, uh, new body. Your entire focus is now on containing and eliminating this outbreak. Then, and only then, will your new body be forthcoming. <laughs> Pack your equipment. You're going to New York. You have you on screen, Team 17. This is Team 13, the mutant tracking station. Mutant tracking. Go ahead, 13. We need backup. We've encountered a nest. Everywhere. Scrambling Team 19 to your location, 13. Stand by! Update. Sir, per your orders, we have decontamination squads at all target sites, waiting for your word. Patch me through to Dr. Stockman. You have your orders, Doctor. Contain and eliminate. There can be no evidence. Burn it all. Understood. It's just incredible. We've made contact. We've encountered hundreds of carriers, multiple species. The mutagenic accelerant seems to be moving up the food chain. It's as if the DNA itself is intelligent. Doctor, is this containable? Well, uh, I need to study one of the creatures to, uh, find out how it's spreading. And, uh... Is. This. Containable! Well, I, uh, the truth is, I have no idea. Sir, teams two and three just reported in. All mutated creatures in their sectors have been destroyed. The genetic material incinerated. Teams 18 through 20 are clear. Teams six through nine are reporting in. Doctor, report. This was something we hadn't seen before. It came up out of the sub-sewers. We're preparing to subdue it now. But I think I've found a sample worth studying. Body transfer systems ready. It's a rash mistake, Dr. Stockman. Ah, Agent Bishop. I can only assume you're here to witness my genius at work. I'm here to warn you one last time. It's foolish to go through with this. Please, you're living proof that my body transplant procedure works. Why should I have to wait for my new body? Why? Because your genetic miscalculations caused an outbreak in New York that's turned the city into a cesspool of mutations. As if it wasn't one already. 
This improved Super Soldier Accelerant has made my new clone body far stronger and faster than initial tests suggested. Early genome imbalances were inevitable, but I've solved those problems, as I always do. Do what you will, Doctor, but don't damage that brain of yours. It is still of some use to me. Missed having a physical body. The sights, the smells, the sensation of a cool breeze. I have goosebumps. Goosebumps! Huh? Uh -huh. Ah! The skin is just settling. Yes, that's all. Simple tissue acclimation. your brain recovered from the bottom of New York's East River after your misguided sabbatical. While I could do without your personality, I do need your brain. The outbreak is getting worse by the minute, and I expect you to use that powerful mind of yours to clean it up. I... I... I can't believe... I can't believe you brought me back like this. Why? Why? Why couldn't you let me finally rest in peace? Why? This is unacceptable. Your progress on the outbreak cure is lacking, Doctor. The situation in the city is getting worse, and it's keeping my attention away from my work. Your work? Please! The original outbreak virus was an unintended side effect of the genetic accelerants I created for you. There are too many variables. I'm testing dozens of retroviruses. Sir, pardon the interruption. There's a transmission coming in. We can't trace the signal. It's... What kind of signal? We've never seen anything like it, sir. It's coming in on our dedicated frequency. Sir, they want to talk to you. I'll take it in the comm room. Comm systems activate. Open secure line. Authorization Bishop Omega 102. Greetings, Agent Bishop. How did you get access to this frequency? How do you know my name? We have been watching you, John Bishop. We know of your abduction by aliens so long ago. We know all. Who are you? You watch the skies night after night looking for your little green men. Little gray men, actually. Futilely gathering what technology you can in hopes of staving off invasion. But right under your nose is everything you need. Information that would put you centuries ahead in your work. And I'm to believe you're just going to give me this information? No, but I can help you get it. For a price. It will be worth it. There is an ancient gemstone encoded with thousands of intricate designs for very advanced alien technology. And I believe you're familiar with the organization that holds it. They are called the Foot.
bishop. Welcome, turtles. I must say, I'm surprised to see you. We don't get a lot of guests here. Oh, I knew this was too easy. You think they saw the copter? It's Area 51. They probably have a UFO watching us from space. Not exactly, Michelangelo. We detected the helicopter as it approached because it's my helicopter. Dr. Stockman took it to New York on his ill-fated trip. Stockman? Still alive? I thought we were done with you for good. Oh, I wish. But Agent Bishop didn't see fit to let me rest in peace. Enough chit-chat. What brings you turtles to my house? There's been an outbreak in New York caused by your alien invasion force. I'm familiar with the situation in New York. Don got infected. He's been transformed into... into a monster. <laughs> oh, that's rich. So much for the smart one. Perhaps we can be of aid to one another. What if I told you I could cure your brother? Why would you help us? I would help your brother because I require something from you in exchange. There is no way we should make a deal with this guy. Don's in trouble because of Bishop. And he tried to dissect us, remember? It may be a deal with the devil, but what choice do we have? unit in a junkyard amateurs ready to sell for transfer doctor is this transfer necessary it is if you want more than his blood pressure and temperature now open that hunk of junk immediately modify mission objective <laughs> subdue the beast die hang on <laughs> But I didn't think that was gonna work a second time. Bishop, no! Don't hurt him! If your brother cannot be contained, then he will be put down! I had hoped we could do business together, but it seems I was wrong. my friend. If he must be subdued, then I will do it, not you, fiend. Leonardo, get the tranquilizers! This is Bishop to command. Send in two more squads. Lethal force is authorized. Stop! Just wait. Just give me five minutes. You have two. Donnie, I'm sorry, but this is for your own good.
gonna be all right, Donnie. Hmm. Donatello's body appears to be breaking down at a fantastic rate due to secondary stage mutations caused by the outbreak accelerant. He doesn't have much time. The animal was right. <sighs> Leonardo, this is wrong. We cannot leave Donatello's fate to these devils. Stockman cannot be trusted. And him, if you only knew what he was capable of. <sighs> Leatherhead's right, Leo. Bishop's the enemy! He's the one that caused the outbreak in the first place! Stockman created the genetic accelerant on my orders. What you call the outbreak virus is an unintended side effect of one of my operations. Do you have a cure? Yes. But as I said earlier, I need something from you. <sighs> Name it. A simple errand, really. There is an item I require. A relic that may prove crucial to my work. I want you to retrieve it for me. Retrieve it? From where? New York. In fact, I believe you know the woman who currently holds it. Her name is Karai. Calm systems on. Open secure channel. Ah, Agent Bishop. We are transmitting coordinates to you even as we speak. And in return? We will let you know. Will you be retrieving the artifact yourself? Of course not. I'll be sending in special agents. You inhuman, soulless monster! Leatherhead! Please, I share your anger, but this will not help Donatello. We need solutions, not vengeance. You'd be wise to listen to your friend, animal. I've waited a long time to do this. Now you will know the meaning of pain. Dr. Stockman is working on a cure. He's the best chance Donatello has for survival. Harm me, and Stockman stops. And your friend has no chance. Fine for now, villain. Dr. Stockman, show me what you have so far. Mr. Leatherhead, and to think I was going to dissect you. What a waste that would have been. You're even more brilliant than Dr. Stockman. What? Then it works? Doctor, prepare an airborne version of the cure for the New York outbreak, as well as a sample for Donatello. If his brothers fulfill their side of the agreement. over the item. Then you'll get your dear brother back. Base destruct sequence initiated. This base has been compromised by your presence. 
You have 15 minutes to collect your brother and vacate the premises. Pleasure doing business with you. Base destruct sequence initiated. Evacuate. Status report, Dr. Stockman. All units are reporting in. The cure is working. The outbreak is in full remission. This better have been worth all the trouble. I assure you, Agent Bishop, encoded within the amulet are secrets even you could not imagine. Do you have the laser frequency adjusted as we directed? Yes, yes. Backseat scientists. Beginning laser analysis for encoded data, now. No! I... I don't understand. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Agent Bishop. You lied. This has all been an elaborate lie. <laughs> Who would do this? And why? Hmm. Who indeed? It could be a power core. Most of the space debris has long since been cleared away. This could be the Earth Protection Force's last chance to find something of value. Take a commando unit, retrieve the piece, and report back. It's always a pleasure doing business with you, Agent Bishop. Simply amazing. They don't seem to be Triceraton or Federation in origin. And the only human brilliant enough to create this kind of technology is me. Are you certain you can reprogram them? Please. The control chip I'm placing on one of the nanobots will send my programming out to each and every one of them. Millions of nanobots under my control. The possibilities are endless. All uh, under my control, Doctor. Activate them. Uh, of course, Agent Bishop. Family! Family! Were you aware that it was intelligent? No, no, I... Foreign programming detected, taking over. Error, weapons protocol. No, must escape. Ah. What is it doing to my lab, Stockman? Amazing, the nanobots are reconfiguring our technology, rebuilding it to... Ooh. How is it resisting my programming? No! No! <sighs> Tell me, Doctor, is this your idea of control? I'm beginning to understand why your former employer kept relieving you of body parts. Our G 
generators are at 15%. The last wave of creatures took out two squadrons of commandos. What are these beasts? What's happening to this city? I require answers, Dr. Stockman. All I know is that this time, I had nothing to do with it. We can't hold them much longer! The outer shell's been breached. They're coming in! Uh -huh. what we got here. <laughs> we come at a bad time. You turtles invited Hun. You must be desperate. Control yourself, Dr. Stockman. We're here on business. Speaking of which, I have one little question. What's to stop any of us from just eliminating you Terrapins right here and now? Us, for one. Huh? <laughs> Okay, let's get started. We asked you all here because everything going on in the city, the transformations, the monsters, it's all the work of an ancient, resurrected demon. The original Shredder from the fourth century AD. His power is growing by the minute. The evil that transformed this city is spreading over the world. The entire world. Whether we like it or not, we're all in this together. I can see why all you chumps are in trouble, but that doesn't have anything to do with me. I did okay with the old Shredder, and he was just a tiny, shriveled, broom-faced alien bug. It doesn't look like those who serve the Utram Shredder are welcome in the new world of the Demon Shredder. And I should believe you because... Believe him, huh? hun. I have the scars to prove it. <sighs> Karai herself has an important role to play in all of this. It seems that all who take on the mantle of the Shredder unknowingly create a link with the very same ancient and malignant energies we battle today. Karai has inherited that link. And we hope to use this in our favor during the coming battle. Karai, you really going along with all of this mumbo jumbo? At first, I too thought it absurd, but through meditation, I have felt it. The energy link is very real. So, what's your plan? The Shredder is a Tengu, a demon. Its essence has never been destroyed, but its physical form is vulnerable. Three artifacts were united to resurrect the Shredder. His helmet, gauntlet, and body. If we can somehow separate these three once again, he should be greatly weakened. But first we'll need to get to him. That's where Dr. Chaplin and his mystic tech weapons come in. I've done some fine tuning since our last encounter. We should be good to go now. So we'll blast through his armies, then attack Shredder himself. And to aid in that attack, I will use my link with the Shredder to drain away as much of his dark energy into myself as I can take. Further weakening him. It's not going to be pretty. Legions of undead ninja, a city full of demons, flying Tengu, and the five mystics. You must all be prepared for the very worst. We face the Shredder, the greatest evil to ever walk the earth. This will be the fight of our lives. <laughs> Agent Bishop? We need a door! Doctor. Once again, my genius used like a blunt weapon. Ah, oh, Shell! 
I suggest moving out of the way. Mistress Karai! Chaplain, we have to pull back! Chaplain! We can't leave her! <sighs> Chaplain, no! Commandos, hit him with everything you've got. We don't have to be nice. Remember, these are undead ghouls. Rally to me! Let me help you. Help me! Stockman. On your feet. There's work to do. Why can't I ever be left alone to expire in peace? Karai, you're alive. Now if you haven't noticed, we're losing. You've got to use your link with the Shredder and continue your assault. Stand back. You two, protect her. I need to see if we have any other forces left. Hold the line, man! Hold the line! What's happening? Why are they retreating? Stockman. That brain of yours is still intact, and I'm not finished with you yet. It seems the pain will never end. Hmm. Begin hollow search now. Notation, I'm seeing an influx of Triceraton population. Inspect immigration reports. Weather patterns shifting over Europe. A dramatic spike in new Manhattan power grid usage. Hmm, what's the cause? Code Alpha. Tech security camera activated. Angle two, magnify. The future's so bright, I gotta wear shades! Impossible. The turtles? Here, my old friends. This is a bright future indeed. Aki, you are one sick turtle. Gross. Get them alone. Gentlemen, I'm glad to see you're still fit after all these years. Bishop! Hip-hop didn't make it a hundred years into the future, but Bishop did? Huh. Wrath! <laughs> Hologram? You stinking! What do you want, Bishop? And how are you even here in 2105? I could ask you the same. But first, how would you like to work for me? <laughs> <laughs> Work for you? Like the time you scrambled my DNA? Or tried to mutate the entire city of New York? That kind of work? Times have changed, gentlemen. I spent centuries struggling against the inevitable alien menace. And one day, realized that all I had done was waste precious time and resources. So I chose a new tack. I decided the best way to protect the Earth from aliens was to make them our allies. Hence, the Pan-Galactic Alliance was born. An organization dedicated to the fair representation of all races from Earth and beyond. 
with peace as a common goal. And of course, I became its president. In an honest election, I assure you. So it's like the UN, but for aliens. And you're the president? I knew I sensed a glitch in the Matrix. Indeed. Despite my best efforts, the peace we've achieved is tenuous. Earth is still a target of the galaxy's greedy and corrupt. But as a nonpartisan official, I can no longer show favoritism for the Earth, nor take matters into my own hands. My sources inform me that a notorious intergalactic mercenary named Torben Zix will arrive on Earth tomorrow for a clandestine meeting here at Abrox Abyss. Then why not just arrest him? I hope to catch him as well as his conspirators. An open assault would tip them off. However, if I had some covert operatives working on my behalf, a team comfortable working in the shadows? Besides, we're not entirely certain what he looks like. With Zix in New Manhattan, I have no doubt destruction will follow. Unless you trust me and stop him. The Extra Terran Defense Grid. It's down. While I would have preferred that a 10 trillion credit transport didn't detonate, your work was exceptional, gentlemen. You saved many, many lives tonight. What about this Shokanabo? Gesundheit! A myth. An alien boogeyman. Clearly, Zix meant to throw you off balance, hoping you'd know the story. We need to focus on facts, not fiction. Tonight's explosion temporarily knocked out our Terran defense grid. I do not believe that this is coincidence. If the grid were the actual target, it stands that someone wanted to bring something very large to Earth undetected. If so, we are dealing with a clever and ruthless adversary. So instead of worrying about fairy tales, we need to ask the question, what did they bring to Earth? And just how dangerous will it prove to be? Gentlemen, thank you for coming. You can save the formalities, Mr. President. What's going on, Bishop? An extremely sensitive matter has arisen, and despite our checkered past, you are the only ones I can turn to. Something is trying to destroy me. Destroy you? Who? You mean who wouldn't? You said this had something to do with the fate of the world. If I go, the Galactic Alliance will crumble. Earth will be at war with two dozen alien races, destroying all of humanity. You want some fries with that ego? What about your security force? This particular threat is somewhat out of their pay grade, if you get my meaning. to subsection Q of paragraph 3, we would find... Everybody out! Now! Pardon me, sir. The floor has yet to recognize the green gentleman accompanying President Bishop. Recognize that? Recess! I take it that's the monster that's trying to get you? What gave it away? <laughs> Looks like your Renicops are tongue-tied! We have to get these people to safety! Way ahead of you! Let's house train this puppy! Whoa! Who took out my batteries? This is Alliance Headquarters. All your weapons were deactivated when you went through security. So we gotta handle this thing 21st century style? No problem.
Anytime you're ready to actually help, gentlemen. Genetically mutated engine of destruction, forged from the DNA of alien species. How do you know that? Because I made it. You want to run that by me again? I think my ears were clogged with monster spit. I helped make that creature. Aren't you out of the bad guy business? I am. This goes back decades. I had no idea they survived. Whoa! Rewind and replay! They? Fangface has friends? We'll take that as a yes. I've got a hover car outside. Let's move. Uh, oh, Mr. President! Ha! Next time, try picking on someone your own species! news! This one's super athletic! Hold on! I think we lost him. Think again! Good! Well, at least the power's back on. Warning. You have lost navigational control. Now connecting with other car customer support. Please hold. The President of the Galactic Council does not hold. <laughs> looks like we scared him off. No, it's just smarter than it looks. Buckle up. Look out! Ah. to see after a hundred years you still know how to smash stuff bish hurry these creatures are tenacious no bishop <laughs> a force field maybe we can power up our weapons and incinerate yourselves it's an accelerated neutrino armor grid. Energy from your weapons will only be repelled back to the source. How do you know that? Let me guess. Had a free weekend after you whipped up those chompy things, so you decided to bang out some more supervillain type stuff. My technology, yes. But I'm not the brains, or should I say, brain behind this place. Then who is? What's going on here, Bishop? Seeing as we have some time to kill, I may as well tell you the whole story. Fifty years ago, the Earth was a different place, and I, well, you know what I was. An alien-hating, xenophobic megalomaniac? Wrath. A myriad of alien life forms had identified the Earth as habitable. We were under the constant threat of invasion. My Earth Protection Force was the only line of defense. This lab was the nerve center of my operation, where the secrets of extraterrestrial DNA could be uncovered and exploited. Our goal was to splice alien DNA to create an invincible army if war were to break out against the aliens. Despite my considerable scientific prowess, I needed help. 
Fortunately, I was able to convince one of the world's greatest minds to work under my aegis. Dr. Baxter Stockman. The alien DNA is mutating nicely. I've been calling them organic mousers. Just my little joke. How do you like our dip into the gene pool? Extending radula, developing corrosive bile. You'll have an army in no time thanks to your volunteer donor program. Stockman was brilliant. He took the program in directions I never would have imagined. He also took things too far. You were kidnapping aliens and experimenting on them. That wasn't too far? As I said, it was a different time in my life, not one that I'm proud of. Our experiments required dangerous equipment and materials. One day, in his zeal to unlock the secrets of alien life, Stockman accidentally triggered a biochemical chain reaction. No! Stockman! What have you done? It was the last I saw of Baxter Stockman. Bishop, help! <laughs> But in the chaos, something happened. It seemed one of my alien lab rats would finally get his revenge. But instead, he saved my life. An alien. I imprisoned him. Used him to create a race of monsters for war against his kind. And still, he saved me. Try as I might, I could not erase the incident from my mind. If this alien, after everything, could show mercy, how could I dare do less? And so, gradually, my attitude toward these beings changed. I sought out allies instead of enemies. The Earth Protection Force became the Pan-Galactic Alliance. You can understand why I was reluctant to reveal all of this to the world at large. But what matters is, I learned my lesson. It's peace, not war, that is the answer to Earth's continued safety. <laughs> Well, you're about to learn another lesson, Mr. President. If you're going to leave your errand boy for dead, you should make sure that he really is. Stockman. I... I thought you perished in the accident. Yes, that explains why no one came looking for survivors. Ever. So is that it? Simple revenge? Stockman, everything has changed. I'm not the man I once was. Nor will you be the man you are for much longer. You follow that one? Nope. That's crazy brain talk if I ever heard it. Ah! Stockman! What are you doing? I spent decades down here, rebuilding our facility, expanding on our original experiments with the trace DNA left behind. Yet I was unable to create a viable body for myself. Then I realized, why make when I could take? <sighs> In a moment, that underused organ you like to call a brain will be processed and transplanted in favor of a, a shall we say, more gifted tenant. <sighs> Though the space may be a tad cramped. Stockman, this is madness! No, this is logic. You're the president. You've shown a proclivity for long life, and you have to love the irony. Relax. It's just a brain transplant. Nothing to lose your head over. Stockman, listen to me! 
No one knows better than we do what a jerk bishop was in the past, but this isn't the answer. Why not? He started all of this. He left me for dead. He owes me. He owed a lot of people back, sir, but he's been paying it back by changing the world. Bishop's work has actually united people of all races, Earthlings and otherwise. Help me! I'm all right. Get Stockman! Let's get you to safety first, Mr. President! Stockman! I left him behind once. I won't do it again. Go! He really did change, didn't he? Stockman! Don't just stand there. Move your shells! Whoa! Hail to the chief! Quick! Down here! You... You saved me! Why? It's what I've been saying all along, my friend. Everything's changed. So, based on your current DNA, I believe it would be possible. Genetic advances over the last century make creating a viable body based on your former physical structure nothing more than a minor procedure. What's the catch? I become your personal slave, toiling away in a secret lab? Actually, the Department of Agriculture is interested in your mousers. I'd like you to meet with them. Me? Really? Well, I suppose it's my civic duty, Mr. President. Say, is there a vice president? Hey, uh, guys? Is anyone expecting company? No. If something tells me this ain't the morning paper delivery. Hold steady, guys. Bishop? Something wrong with the doorbell, Mr. President? And what's with the iron jumpsuit? Forgive the theatrics, gentlemen, but subtlety is not an option. This is a matter of galactic security. Mr. Jones, would you please leave the room? This is classified material. The boy remains by our side, Bishop. Fine. Don't blame me if he has nightmares. This video is from one of our satellites. Moonbase Bishop? The gateway to the stars. A hub of commerce, science, and galactic alliance interests. We lost contact three days ago. Hours after our scans turned up blank, we sent in a small army. As soon as they entered the base, we lost contact with them as well. And you're telling us this because... Because of this. A digitally enhanced still from the satellite's camera. What the shell? Is that... It's Shokanabo. He's back. You've battled Shokanabo before. You know his methods, his strengths, and hopefully his weaknesses. I need you by my side in this. Earth needs you. Mr. President, what about Viral? She's always with Shokanabo, and I've been developing a program that- Jones, you're a genius, but this is no place for a child. But- A wise assessment, Mr. President. Shokanabo disappeared after the last time we fought, ship and all. We thought he was gone for good. Take it from someone who knows, obsession always finds a way. What is on the moon that Shokanabo would find useful in his conquest of Earth? Aside from the 500 crewmen, many critical planetary systems operate from the moon base. Monitoring defensive weapons and the Earth Atmospheric Protection Grid. The Earth wasn't that again? The Earth Atmospheric Protection Grid. It's a global force shield that reduces negative atmospheric effects. It's how the 21st century conquered global warming and reduced skin cancers and pollution. Too bad it can't reduce the negative effects of snarling Shokanabos! No. But we know Shokanabo is vulnerable to light. 
These are experimental solar light grenades. They may be our only hope to take him out. So choose your shot wisely. It may be the only one you get. Hmm. This is most concerning. The blast shield is closed. The moon base city uses the blast shield to protect it when solar storms release dangerous radioactivity. And Shokanabo's using it to keep the sunlight out, meaning the entire city's probably overrun by Kanabos by now. We're in for one shell of a fight. Steal yourselves, men. There's no telling what awaits us in there. Move out. Be ready for anything. Anything? Well, nothing at all. This place looks completely deserted. You can say that again, because with every blast panel sealed, no sunlight can get through to reverse the infection, for us or for any of the 500 crewmen who have already been infected. Hey, how about a little positive thinking? Maybe they were able to hide. And maybe I'll just shut up now. Here we go. Don't forget, there's still people under all that junk. <laughs> Tell them that! Non-lethal ordinance. Pick your shot. <laughs> Just keep coming! We can fight them off all day and we still wouldn't get any closer to finding Shokanabo! We can't risk hurting these people! We've got to rethink our strategy! Some strategy? I'm sure we're being led right to Shokanabo. But with these goop cuffs on, we could get infected! You're right. So once we get to Shokanabo, we'll have to act fast. Dude, it's a butt-ugly monster convention! Raph, where's your membership card? Uh, How many of them are there? All of them, of course. The entire moon-based population, transformed, as countless millions were before them, on hundreds of planets throughout the centuries. Count yourselves among the privileged reptiles to kneel at the right hand of Shokanawa. When the day of awakening dawns at last, and your precious earth falls! <laughs> Shoka nut jab. They come in turtle size. Oh, Raphael! Pathetic creatures. Surely you sense the power I now wield. This new form is a testament to the strength of my progeny. As the Kanavos grow in number, so too do my own energies increase. Not to mention your ego. Sheesh. We'll stop you. The civilizations of the Galactic Alliance will never... President Bishop, if I ever considered you a threat, you would have been eliminated long ago. The only true hindrances to my designs were the reptiles. And the solution to its solar dilemma, the atmospheric defense grid. Thought you said the grid was a good thing, Bishop. Not if one were to increase the opacity of the grid to 100%. No sunlight would get through at all. The day of awakening will come to the Earth in blessed darkness thanks to you. As a reward, you will be allowed to witness the glory of my ascension. Closer next time, why don't you? That's Jones? Yeah, he's got sort of a listening to pompous authority figures problem.
Shokanabo's strength is related to the Kanabo drones. We need to convert them back to normal if we're gonna stand a chance against him. The blast shield. Bishop, if we can open the shield, we can convert them all to normal in one shot. Excellent instincts, Donatello. But we also have to stop Viral before she does irreparable damage to the Earth. If the grid falls... Say no more, President Bishop! I'm on it! And I'm ready for Viral this time! We cannot send you there alone. It makes sense, Master Splinter. Please, I won't let you down. I'll go with him. I can get the grid back online. Donatello, I'll relay the blast shield coordinates and security codes to your gauntlet. Okay, Don and Raph, you open the blast shield. Cody and Bishop, you have Viral and the Grid. The rest of us will deal with Shokanabo. Conditions are back to specs. The grid is back online. Viral's gone. Gone? I'll be scrubbing data bits from my cache for weeks. Jones, next time you disobey a direct order from the president, you'll probably receive a medal. <laughs> Good job. Is it really over? Shokanabo's done for good, kid. Period. And the future just got a whole lot brighter. <laughs> <laughs>